Brandy here. Welcome to this week's Intivix Office 365 Tips and Tricks. How many of you perform different functions within your organization? You might be the executive assistant to a CEO, but you also work really closely with the accounting department, possibly human resources, and the project team. You wear many hats and perform different roles for different people within your organization or possibly outside of your organization but your email line doesn't always match up when you're sending emails based on the jobs that you're performing. Microsoft has provided an easy solution for this, so let's get started. In your Outlook, click on File, then choose Options, click on Mail, and about halfway down, you'll see Create or Modify Signatures for Messages. Click on the Signatures button, and it brings you to the Signatures and Stationery section. In this sample, my title is a bit long, and we really should separate the human resources versus marketing and communication coordinator roles when we're sending emails. To do this, click New, and then type a name for your signature. Once you've typed the name of your new signature, click OK, and just below where it says Edit Signature, you may begin typing your name and title. Once you have your name and your title, Adjust your signature so it appears the way that you would like for this group of people that you'll be emailing. Once you're satisfied with your signature line, click Save. I will also change the name of my primary signature and maybe add another signature for another role I perform. To change the name of my primary, I'll click on the name and click Rename. Once you've created all the signatures for the different groups of people you will email and you've adjusted the title in the signature line, Click OK and return to your Outlook. From the top ribbon, choose New Email. In the top ribbon, under the Messages tab, click on Signature and simply choose the desired signature you wish to use. And voila, your signature is changed just like that. Thank you for listening and I look forward to speaking with you all again next week.